Hello again, and welcome to another episode of Slash Camp. I'm Miel here, and I had an amazing day at the Renaissance Festival today. It was the Pittsburgh Zorn of Renaissance Festival. This was the opening weekend, and so Saturday was actually opening day, but today was the second day, and it runs for literally this whole month, like, I think well into September, and... It is absolutely amazing, and for those of you who do live in the Pittsburgh area, you need to go. It's so much fun. So, this year I went with a very good friend of mine. Um, he ended up taking me, and then I met up with one of the girls from work, and we hung out at the Ren Fair all day, which was awesome. Minus the fact it was super hot, and he ended up kind of getting a little sick towards the end because it was just, like, too much, too too hot, just a lot of walking around, and wasn't really prepared for being out in the sun all day. So, me, I, I'm i used to, like, going to Ren Fairs and being all dressed up and, like, dying of heat, and it, <laughs> I was like, I knew what to prepare for, and I probably should have, like, worn him a little bit better, unfortunately. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But... Unfortunately, like, I am still sick, and it's actually, like, all in my sinuses now instead of, like, my sore throat, so sorry if I sound, like, really nasally today, it's, it's because of that, but I ended up, I, last year I got a very nice corset, very nice corset, I paid pretty much close to $400 for it, and this year I was like, well, I'm going to wear it every day, every day that I get the chance because it's so nice and I spent so much money on it that I was like, I'm going to wear this as much as possible. So here it is. This is my my corset that that I got. It's technically an underbust corset, so and it's traditional, so it has the, all the lacing. But this thing is like armor grade leather, so it is not like boned, it is literally like the rivets are what's holding it together. So it's amazing, absolutely amazing. I, I can't move. Like when I wear it, I just can't move. So I wouldn't, like today I was like, well I'm going to wear something that's like light and airy and then I'm put that over it so that I'm not too, too hot and dying of having like a heat stroke or something. But it was a lot of fun. I got a lot of see. I got to see a lot of familiar faces, um, and I ended up bringing home a couple of awesome things. One is in my background. It is a long bow. It is not strung, um, but it's just the wood frame. It's not sanded. It's not painted. There's like nothing. It's literally you can stain it whatever you like. So that's in my background, right there. And it has ten arrows that are like attached this way. You can see the fletching right there. <laughs> I'm like trying to do this in mirrored and it's so hilarious. Um, so I got that. And I got my short bow, which is recurve, recurve short bow. This thing is so pretty. So pretty. Uh, everything that you see is actually, um, like, leather, so none of it, yeah, this is all leather. It's a little worn in a couple of places, but nothing a good waxing won't, won't help. And it is a 35 pound pull, which means when I pull it, it takes 35 pounds to pull it all the way back. So, but it is tiny. <laughs> the other one is taller than I am, and it's only a 20 pound pull, which it's a lot easier because you're pretty much just uh, distributing. Sorry, my head's a little fuzzy right now. You are evening out the weight throughout the entire um, like frame. So with this, you're going to get stronger pulls because of the smaller it is and the tighter this is wound. So, 
Yes. Ah. This does not have um, what is called a arrow rest. So you literally have to put on your finger and you shoot off your finger. And I actually, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I have literally like little, little cuts across the top of my finger and across my knuckles from shooting while I was out there. Uh, making sure like I don't like just drop it because it is a very expensive bow. <laughs> but um, let's see, what else did I get? Hmm. I got um, like rope ties, which is it's a game that they play, and they essentially tie two people together, and you have to figure out how to get out of it. And it was great because I was standing up there, and I was like, "Okay, I want to, I want, I want to be tied to someone, please." And the guy was like, "Well, who do you want? Do you want a male or a female?" And I was like, "Female, <laughs> use me a female." And so it was funny because the other girl that we were doing introductions, he was like, well, you're going to get pretty pretty close to each other and you have to figure out how to get out of this. And it was, it was great because we literally shook hands and at the exact same time said, hi, my name is Kat. And it was great. Absolutely just great. And so we were sitting there like trying to like wiggle out the rope and like figure out a way to do it. And it's very easy. It's super easy. So for those of you who go to the Red Festival, you have to find this particular toy shop. And you need to get tied up to someone and figure out how to get out and then feel like a moron when you're done. <laughs> it is super simple. And I was like, yeah. So I ended up getting the rope set so I can like be tied to someone and show them how to do it. And it's going to be a little fun game that I can just be like, I bet you can't get out of this. So... That is fun. And of course, like, they have my, uh, frozen cappuccinos again. Oh, they're so delicious. So delicious. Um, got to see the fire breather, uh, the washing wenches, uh, sat and listened to a storyteller for a while, which was very well done. Very well done. He told us a story about a monk and painting cats, and it was delightful. So, it was, all in all, a very, very good day. And then... I've not, like, been feeling well. My sinuses are really bothering me. So I've been kind of, like, relaxing, uh, watching some anime, and generally just sitting down and being out of the heat, which has been absolutely amazing. <coughs> but, yep. So I do plan on going every Sunday for the Renaissance Festival, and I will have my corset on, and... I will have like all my garb. I have a wonderful hat that I got you last year, so I'm can't wait. I can't wait to be all like decked out and prancing around the Ren Fair again. Um, I showed you, showed you guys my drinking horn that I have, so I'm gonna find a way, find a way that I can put my tankard on my outfit and carry around my tankard and put water and stuff because like bottles of water were just like. I hated carrying the bottles of water where I can just be like, hold this and like, hold something else at the same time, or put this like under my arm and drink, and yeah. So, but yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. Why, why does it have to be a week away? No. But I'm super excited. Super excited. Um, this is, it's a little, uh, beat up, but. It's very grand festival. So, that's what I went to. And it, I had it all rolled up and, like, tucked in my, my skirt. It's pretty big, actually. Like, this is the, the whole red fair. It's pretty big. So, hopefully, hopefully I get to see some of you guys Sunday. Stop by, just say hi. If you see me, like walking through the crowd, just wave hi, or come walk over and tell me what you think of the Red Fair. And I shall see you guys later, hopefully. Um, depending on how I'm feeling, I might stream tonight. I don't really think so. I think I'm going to take some night cool and lay down. But, yeah. So, hopefully I see you guys there. If not, I shall talk to you later. Have a good night. Bye-bye.